Hello, psychology and personality students, and welcome to module six. This video is going to focus on final project two, milestone one presentation draft. What you're looking at here is the presentation guide file, which is provided for you in module six folder. It is an identical file to the final presentation guide, which is in the module 8 folder. I also want to point out that the templates that are provided are identical. The presentation template provided for you in module 6 is the same file as the presentation template that is provided for you in module 8. This presentation guide is an overview of what should be incorporated in your presentation and your presentation is basically an overview of various elements of your research design. You should use the template to further facilitate and to develop your presentation. I want to point out an important section down here. Right here is the notes section and the notes section on each slide has a different note section and this is where the bulk of your information is going to go. As you see here, it says your slides should contain the main points. You should include bullet points in your slides, but there should not be a ton of text on your slides. The bulk of the text will go underneath the slide down here in the notes section. For this title slide, replace the title in the template with the title of your presentation. Once again, your presentation should summarize the main points and you should include bulleted points on each slide. Your overall presentation should be five to 10 slides. The bulk of the information to be placed in the notes page will be what you explain. If you were giving a presentation, this would be what you, the presenter, would refer to to ensure that you cover the information you wish to convey. The bullet points would be there to kind of guide your presentation. And that's the goal with this presentation. Not a lot of text, but just covering the main points on each slide. Speaking of text, be sure to use a readable font. Make sure the font is big enough, but not too large. You want to have some contrast. So maybe use dark text on a light background or vice versa and make sure there's proper spacing between the bullets so that it's easier to read and kind of easy on the eyes. As far as graphics or images are concerned, feel free to incorporate them to spice up your presentation. However, don't use any cutesy flip art. Use images that align with the topic you are presenting or a chart or a table that illustrates the information within your presentation. This is an overview of the components to be included within your presentation. And these are explained on the next few slides. For one, you're going to provide a summary of your study. What are the main points of your research? Remember, you by now you've identified a gap after reviewing the literature and you've developed a research design that you shared in Module 5. Here is where you summarize that. Once again, provide the bulk of the material, the bulk of your information in the notes section, but stick to the main points on the slide itself. In the next section, you're going to explain the gap that you identified. Why did you choose this gap? How did you identify it? Be sure to use other studies to support the existence of this research gap, this void in the literature that you identified. Also, a, a bullet or two about your thought process or your reasoning, and you'll further elaborate on these points in the notes section. Be sure to do that. That's very important. In the future research tie-in section, you're going to explain how research from the class, the five articles that you reviewed, covers 
this area, the area that's missing, and how did those articles illustrate the gap? A couple bullet points here explained further in the notes. Once again, the notes would be used if you were presenting to a wider audience. You would refer to those and the viewers would not see those. And the last section to be covered is the benefits to the field component of this presentation. What benefits to society would your research provide? So in other words, what knowledge would you add that may help an area of personality psychology or help us understand um, personalities of individuals better? How will this benefit your, how would your study benefit the field of psychology? After developing your PowerPoint, you're going to submit it in the module six folder assignment area and use the feedback that's provided for you to strengthen your presentation to fine tune it and then you're going to submit a polished version in module eight and that will be final project two submission please post any general questions in the general discussion area and if you have any specific questions specific to your situation, please feel free to email me.